So you've always wanted to know how to build an end scale signal? Well here is part two of my series. Hi, I'm Peter from Rochelle Intermodal and welcome to part two of my series on building an end scale signal. Now I'm breaking this down into two sections. Um, reason for this is I'm trying to keep my videos a bit shorter. So in section one, I'll show you how to clean up the parts and we'll start putting them together into a completed signal. And in section two, I will be putting in the LED and getting it painted and ready for installation on the layout. Now, if you haven't already subscribed, please click on the subscribe button down below and click on the bell icon to receive all notifications of videos I upload. So let's get started on section one. Right, the first part is gonna be removing the edge metal pieces from the sprues. So let's go get on with that. So there are three bits I'm going to remove. The ladders and the signal brackets. Mounting plates for the signal number. And search like target and the bracket for the target as well. So what I use, I just use a, a tile, you can use a piece of glass as well just to give it a nice firm surface for removing them from the sprues. And I'm going to use a sharp X-Acto blade just to cut through the, the tabs holding them in place. Now once those are all cleaned up, I'll then get the cast pieces and clean them up. So there are three pieces I'll be using here. Um, let's get the... So the first piece is the base for the signal. And that's just got a piece on the one, on the one side that just needs slight filing. So I just take that and again with a file just do light. Drawing it across very lightly until I get a smooth smooth edge. Now some of these don't really need anything. This one just got a slight slight bit on one side. That should be fine. And then the next piece I've got to do is I'm going to be using the short short bracket, mounting bracket for the signal head. And this one again needs a very tiny bit of cleaning up Find file and just gently draw it again over the edge I want to file down. So let's check there, that should be smooth enough. Let's check the rest of it. I think that's about it on this one. That's what I need to clean up. So I'll put that to one side. And then the final bit from the castings is the signal head. So we've got the signal head, as you can see, tiny very very small. Now this there's not much to do there's sometimes a tiny bit on the back that he's filing off so again I'll just gently file that a bit so it's nice and smooth These castings are quite soft, so it doesn't take much to file them down. So just a light filing. So that should be it. Now the final bit to do is the signal mast. So I'll show you how to do that. They supply a brass tube that's quite long. That's going to be too long to, for the signal we want. Obviously, depending on whether you're doing a tall signal or a medium or a, a dwarf signal, um, you'll need to just check with your prototype what what lengths they used, what rather what heights they used. Um, <clears throat> the one I've got um, when I model, sort of the BNSF, um, they seem to use 
uh, sort of 15 foot from the ground from what I can find out. So generally what I'll do let's get this out of the way, I'll take a scale rule. I've got a one of these very useful definitely something you should get. Very, very useful. Um, obviously you can get these for in scale or or HO. This is um well in, in the UK it's called engage, but it's the same thing in, in scale. Um, you get them for HO and O as well. So this gives you scale feet and scale meters. Very, very useful when you scratch building or doing any kind of modeling. This makes it easier to work things out. So I'm gonna do 15 foot. So put this at the edge of the ruler and mark out 15 foot, which is about over there. Now what I'll do now is take a blade. Now you can use a single edge blade or you can use one of these standing knives and you just put it on the 15 foot mark and you just press down and then gently roll it and you can see it's snapped off nicely so there you've got the two pieces this is my 15 foot piece I'm going to use for my signal mast and this is just an off cut now these are quite useful for doing dwarf signals um, there were dwarf signals that have poles um, there's a quite nice length so keep those and they're useful for all other things as well so always useful to keep the, the cutoffs I've now got everything I need to start completing my signal so I've got the signal head the bracket for the signal head and the signal mast that's 15 foot and then the base for the signal over here I've got the two brackets for the ladder so I've got the long bracket and the short bracket and I've got the ladder now you see I haven't cut the ladder yet I'll be doing that right at the end once I've determined exactly where it's going to go um, and once it's on the pole it's better to do it once you've once you've put it on the pole um, then I've got the searchlight target and the target bracket and that mounts it onto the signal head and then I've got the plate for the the number plate for the signal uh, sorry the number plate over there and the number plate bracket that holds it onto the signal mast so that's everything that you need to build the signal so next step is to start assembling it okay now to start assembling so the first step will be to get the ladder in place so what we're going to do is we'll take our pole there and then our ladder get it picked up correctly okay now the ladder actually I'll tell you what let me put put this and this might sharp better on here there we go okay so the ladder is going to be fitting just under the top of the mast so just under where the mast hole is um, and what we'll need to do first is to bend this top bit of the ladder just to get the right angle so I'm just going to use a pair of pliers I'm just going to use a pair of tweezers and I'm just going to hold the top of it and I'm just going to do it between the top rung so you can see the top rung is over here uh, I'm going to do it just between the top rung and the hole let's grab it there and just bend it slightly okay so see I've got a slight angle in the ladder now obviously that can be adjusted once the ladder is in place and what we're going to do now is just slide the ladder onto the pole like that so the position of this ladder depends where you put the wires for the LED now there are two places to put it um, according to the instructions you can either put the LED wires straight down the hole in the top or it gives instructions to actually make an opening in the mast itself sort of an angled opening that you can thread the the wires through um, now I tend to put it straight down the top it's just a lot easier uh, but if you're going to be using the um, opening in the mast option then the ladder the top of the ladder should be below that opening 
So if you had the hole sort of there, you'd make the the ladder open, the top of the ladder slightly below where you put that the wires through. So that position is all depending on where you say where you put this this opening. So I'm just going to do it just slightly down from the top like that and now I'm going to put a bit of glue so what I use I use a bit of super glue now let's put a bit of blob of it on the tile there and then using a toothpick I'll take some of the super glue and just dab it onto the pole just where the ladder is. Let's put a little bit top and bottom. Let's be careful not to get this anywhere near the hole where the wires are going to go through. So we got it there. Just let that set a bit and then we'll go on to the next bit which is the brackets for the ladder. Okay the next step is to take the short brackets for the ladder. So I'm just going to get that. So there is the short bracket and now this is the tricky bit. So you've got to slide this, you've got to put the pole through that tiny little opening, that tiny little opening over there and slide this up to about the third rung from the top of the ladder. So this bit is a bit tricky. So what I tend to do is just keep it on my finger and then I'll push down onto the little opening like that. Now, let's see I've got it over there and now I'm just going to work it up the pole. And sometimes it helps just use a pair of tweezers. Just over here and then just slightly give it a gentle push all the way up. Like that. We want this small brackets, the short bracket to be under the third rung of the ladder. So you've got the hole over there, then you've got the first rung, second rung, third rung. So we want this to be just underneath the third rung of the ladder. So if I just push this down slightly, like this you can see now is when you can bend this Ladder slightly, you can see there. I just wanted to get it so that it touches, just touches the ladder, and it's going to be glued onto the bottom of the third rung. You can just about see the bracket is now in place. That's just underneath the third rung. I'm just going to put a dab of glue over there on there just to attach it on that end, attach the ladder to the brackets on that side. So, just going to put a dab of glue over there. Okay, right, and we'll let that dry and then we'll do the long bracket. The next tricky bit, before you do the long bracket, you've got to put the number board bracket on, number plate bracket on. Now this is the trickiest bit, because this is such a delicate piece, you see over there. Now you've got to bend that, bend both those holes so that they're 90 degrees so that they will form a you get those li those holes in line so they will then slide up the mast now the tricky bit is trying to get it so that you get this flat bit in the middle directly in the middle with these two bent up 90 degrees on either side of it um, not the easiest thing to do um, some people leave that part out but if you want to have the number plate there, you, you need to have that in place. Um, so that is quite tricky. Um, and now as to position of it, um, that all depends. I generally use, if I go back to my scale rule again, so I've got a 15 foot mast. This bracket I put at approximately 11 foot over there, 11 foot height. Now the signal board I do 
about ten and a half feet, so about over there, I'll position it because then the following bracket, the short, the long bracket, um, I put it about nine foot, so that is about over there. So you've got that number board bracket between the short bracket and the long bracket of the ladder. Um, so again, look at your prototype and just work out distances of where you want to have those brackets and the number plates as well. So let's get on and bend this little bracket. So it should end up looking something like, see that something like that. Now we go for the hard parts. Now we've got to try to slide this up the pole. So we'll try thread this through. So not the easiest thing. It's quite a good idea actually to use a magnifier if you have one. It's going to be a lot easier to see what you're doing. That is the mounting plate for the number board. It goes on the front, so opposite the ladder on the front of the pole, just underneath the short bracket for the ladder. So next step is to put the long bracket on. So I'm going to do the same method. Again, thread it through. Okay, and then work it up carefully up the pole. Again, you can use a pair of tweezers, which does make it a bit easier to slide it up. I'm going to do it on the rung just below the number board here. So I'm going to do it about over there. And just flip it round. Flip this round. So it lines up nicely there. And it's going to go on this one about over here. And so I'll glue that in place and then glue it to the ladder. dry for a bit. So you've got the ladder in place and you have got the number board as well. I'll straighten everything once it's all dry. And the signal's coming together quite nicely so far. Okay now everything's dry. So what I'd like to do now is let's cut the ladder to length. So I'm going to do it so it's the Level with the bottom of this mast. I should be at the right height above the ground once I've got the, the signal base in place. Now I'm just going to do it at the bottom of just above this rung over here. I'm just going to snip it so it's that should be about this the right height. So let me just make sure I've got it in the right place. Okay, I'm going to snip it just about here. So, make sure it's snipped properly. There we go. Alright. So, I will then smooth off the bottom of it, just file it slightly so it's all straight. So, there you've got the beginning of the mast, everything on it. You've got the ladder, you've got the brackets, and you've got the number board for the signal. So the next step we're going to do is put the bracket for the signal head in place. If I get the short signal head, the short signal bracket, that's over there. Okay, so now we've got the same procedure as with these other parts. We're going to slide this onto the mast. And I suppose doing that's easier to use fingers, up to you, depending on if you use tweezers or fingers. I'm going to do it so that the long part of the bracket is on the same side as the signal bracket. So opposite side of the ladder, make sure it's facing the right way. 
and I go slightly through like this. Let's work its way down. Okay, so. There I've got the short mount for the signal head. Now I'm going to glue that in place on the mast and then it's ready to install the signal head. Okay, a little bit of glue underneath it. Be careful not to get this glue anywhere near the hole whether you put the hole using the hole at the top or if you've made a hole in the mast for the LEDs make sure you don't put this glue anywhere near that otherwise you're going to have trouble threading the wires through so we'll let that set a bit and then we'll go for the signal head okay so that's set in place you can see there it's all coming along nicely um, so now it's just time to install the signal head so we're just going to take the signal head and at the base of it there's a little notch that then goes onto a tab on the top of this base, on the top of this bracket. So we put a bit of glue on there and we'll just carefully put that on. It's quite a good idea to use the gel for this. It just makes it easier to set it in place and it gives you a bit of time just to get everything aligned and make sure everything is in the right position. The signal is looking really good now. So you can see it's a really well detailed signal and as you can see very easy to put together. It doesn't take long at all. As you do more of these it will become faster and faster. So that is now ready for the LED. I try to put the LED in first before I put the base on um, just in case the, the glue I use um, clogs up the holes, so I prefer putting the signal in, getting the wires through, I mean, get the, putting the LED in, getting the wires through before I actually put the base on. So that is our next step.